Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to calculate the stocking density, the stocking capacity of your fish pond. It is good and advisable that you know the stocking capacity, the carrying capacity of your fish pond, so that you will not overstock your fish pond. When you overstock your fish pond, it will lead to cannibalism, stunted growth, outbreak of uh, infections and diseases in your pond. So for you to you know, be successful in this business, you need to follow the basic principles. And one of the basic principles before stocking your pond is to know how many, the number of fish that your pond can carry. So this is my fish pond. I want to calculate the stocking capacity of this pond. Now for you to calculate the stocking capacity of your pond, you need a measuring tape so that you'll be able to measure the uh, width and the length of your pond. The width of the pond is the shortest uh, side of the pond. Then the length is the longest side of the pond. Now you need to also know the area of your pond. Area is length times width. So for you to know the area, you need to know the length and the width of your pond. So let's measure the length and the width of this pond. We'll start with the width. The width is the shortest side of the pond. So let's know the length. Uh, let's know uh, yeah, the dimension of this is our pond so the width here is 1.6 meters 1.6 meters that's the width of our pond let's measure the length of the pond remember when you're measuring please come closer when you're measuring it is uh, in to in that is from here not from here don't measure from here you measure from here to the inner part, the other side of the pond, the inner, not the outer. So here, because this is where uh, the this is the area that the fish will be. So let's see what our length is. All right. Okay. The length of uh, of this pond is 2.87 meters or 2.88 meters is 2.88 meters that is the length of the spawn so i'm going to show you how we will calculate the stocking capacity the carrying capacity of this pond all right from our measurement we said our width is 1.6 meters and our length is 2.88 meters now to calculate the area of the pond area is length times width length times width will give us area this is in meters meter squared is the unit for uh, area so to know the area of this pond with a width of 1.6 meters and a length of 2.88 meters we multiply the length by uh, the width, which is area is equal to 1.6 meters times 2.88 meters. So the area of our pond A is equal to 4.608 meter squared. This is the area of the pond. Now, to know the number of fish we are going to stock, in our pond we have a recommended stocking capacity for fingerlings and juveniles uh, and for grow out ponds now for juveniles or fingerlings we recommend a stocking capacity of 60 fish per square meters then for grow out we recommend a stocking capacity of 50 fish per square meters this is for juveniles. This is for grow out. For juveniles, uh, juveniles or fingerlings. Fingerlings of uh, size of from one gram to uh, 250 grams. From one gram to one, 250 grams. Then for grow out from uh, 250 
250 grams to 1,000 uh, grams or 1 kg. So, if you want to stock fingerlings or juveniles in this pond with an area of 4.608 meters, if you want to stock fingerlings or juveniles, we'll say you multiply this area by our recommended stocking capacity for fingerlings or juveniles. The recommended stocking capacity for fingerlings or juveniles, we say, is 60 fish per square meter. Now multiply it by 4.608, uh, sorry, 4.608 uh, square meter. 60 fish per uh, square meter for juveniles or fingerlings and for us to get the number of fingerlings or juvenile will stock in this spawn of 4.608 square meter we say you multiply 60 which is the recommended stocking capacity per square meter for juvenile uh, juvenile fingerlings 60 by the area of the pond so 60 times 4.680 is uh sorry is 276.48 276.48 uh, juveniles or fingerlings which is approximately uh, 276 fish so this is the number of fingerlings or juveniles that I can stock in this pond when you overstock a pond you are you are you are you know bringing problem to yourself as a fish farmer so don't overstock your pond it is not about you know putting many fish in the pond it's about knowing the uh, exact number of fish uh, that is supposed to be in that pond so that you'll be able to manage them very well if you overstock you know the water will be polluted it will become polluted every time and you need to be changing the water so always work uh, with the principles that we have in a catfish farming now if it is for grow out pond for grow out pond we say you stock 50 uh, fish per square meter so if i want to stock uh, fish of from 250 gram to 1 kg i want the fish to grow up to 1 kg i will say 50 multiplied by the area which is 4.608 so my stocking capacity here will be will be 230.4 which is approximately 230 fish so you uh, you can see that the number for grow out has reduced why because as they are growing they are occupying more space so they are expanding they are occupying more space in the pond so you can see that the number is reducing now if you carry the same quantity the same uh, quantity of uh, 276 fish and you allow them to grow from 250 to between 250 to 1 kg and you still stock them in this pond you are already uh, overstocking the pond the pond is already exceeding its carrying capacity so as a catfish farmer or as a beginner in catfish farming the basic principle is for you to know the carrying capacity of your pond. There are other things you need to know, like disinfecting the pond, cleaning the pond, you know, sourcing for good fingerlings or juveniles, and after stocking, how to manage them, the type of feed you use, all those things, uh, they are also very, very important. They are also the basic principles you need to carry out, the basic uh, operations, farm operations, you need to carry out as a catfish farmer. Just follow my page so that whenever I drop any video, you will be able to follow and you will also be notified. So just click the follow button uh, as you can see there on the screen to follow the page. Thank you for watching.